In this video, I'll demonstrate how to program a G19 arc, which is an arc in the YZ plane and represented by the green surface here and here. For this part, the G18 arc, the light blue surface, has already been programmed, but for clarity is not shown here in the code. As with the G17 and G18 arcs, to determine if the arc is clockwise or counterclockwise, it must be viewed from the positive axis, which is perpendicular to the arc plane. In this case, the X positive. For this part, the XY0 is the top center of the part, as shown here. And to program this arc, I'll start in quadrant 4 and sweep the arc through to quadrant 1. This will be a clockwise or GO2 arc. Then I'll step over in the X, 25 thou, and arc back using a counterclockwise GO3 arc. Then again, I'll step over in the x-axis another 25 thou, and next, I'll repeat these two arcs in a sub-program, which cuts the entire surface. I've gone ahead and created the start of the tool and the end of the tool code. And you'll notice I'm programming the finish tool, because I always program the finish tool first, and then go back and add the roughing tool code, as I find that simpler. To cut this arc, I'm going to use a 1-inch ball nose end mill, and I'll start 600 thou away from the part edge, as shown here which is the cutter radius plus 100 thou. I'll start the tool at x, 3.26. This will place the tool tip 10 thou past the part edge, here, and the starting y coordinate will be negative 3.6. So I'll enter that here. Next, the program will pick up the tool height offset and turn the coolant on. Then the tool tip will feed to the depth of cut, which is negative 1.3419, as shown here. Now to program the arc, I'll enter G19 to tell the machine to cut this arc in the YZ plane, then G02 for the clockwise arc, and I'll enter Y 3.6, the Y coordinate it ends at. I don't need to reprogram the Z because it ends at the same Z it started at. And I'll add the radius path to follow of 5.5, as seen here. I'll push enter, and I'll refresh the plot to check my work. Now I'll add the incremental movement in the x-axis here. And remember, because it's incremental, I put my Cartesian coordinates where my tool currently is, and I look this way, so it'll be an x-negative. So to enter that, I'll enter g91 for incremental, then g01 because it's a linear move, and x-negative 25 thou. This movement will determine the scallop height. If it's too large, I'll have to reduce the step over. Next, I'll code the counterclockwise arc to bring the tool back to the other side of the part. So I'll enter G03, Y minus 3.6, and R 5.5. Again, if the Z doesn't change, I don't need to program. And I'll refresh the plot. And we can see there's a problem here, because I have to remember I'm switching from incremental to absolute, which I neglected to do. So I'll come here and add my G90, and then refresh the plot again, and that looks good. Since both arcs look good, I want to put this into a sub-program, which I can repeat. So I'm going to cut this, and I'll come below my M30, and I'll create a sub-program by entering 02900, and I'll add a comment to cut the G19 arc. Then I'll paste my code, and the last thing I do is I need one more incremental, so G91, step over, and I'll put the G01, x minus the 25 thou, push enter, and then M99 to end my sub-program. And the other thing I need to do is I have to recall that I'm going to repeat this sub-program. So this movement here was an absolute movement, so I need to come back up here and add my G90. And now to make this code work correctly, I'm going to come back into the main program and enter M98, call the sub-program, and then P2900, and I'll just refresh the plot and everything is the same, so that's good. And lastly, I need to calculate how many repeats. So I'll pull up the calculator, and I'll divide 6.5, my part length, this way, by my step over of 50 thou, 225 thou step overs, and I get 130 passes. So I'll enter L130, and then I'll refresh that plot, and I'll just fit it to the screen. And I can see my tool ended at x negative 3.24. I also need to remember that's after it stepped over another 25 thou. So it's really 
I'll just get the calculator back. So it hasn't come all the way off the part. So I'm going to minus 3.25 and I need to go one more repeat to complete this. So I'll change this back to L131. Refresh the plot and now I can see I've come completely off of the part and cleaned up all of this green G19 art.